The Marvel Universe is a fictional universe where the stories in most American comic book titles and other media published by Marvel Comics take place. Super teams such as the Avengers, the X-Men, the Fantastic Four, the Guardians of the Galaxy, the Defenders, the Midnight Suns, the Thunderbolts and other Marvel superheroes live in this universe, including characters such as Spider-Man, the Hulk, Iron Man, Thor, Captain America, Wolverine, Black Panther, Doctor Strange, Captain Marvel, Daredevil, The Punisher, Deadpool, Blade, Ghost Rider, Silver Surfer, Nova, Adam Warlock and numerous others. The Marvel Universe is further depicted as existing within a multiverse, consisting of thousands of separate universes, all of which are the creations of Marvel Comics and all of which are, in a sense, Marvel Universes. In this context, Marvel Universe is taken to refer to the mainstream Marvel continuity, which is known as Earth-616 or currently as Earth Prime. History Though the concept of a shared universe was not new or unique to comics in 1961, writer-editor Stan Lee, together with several artists including Jack Kirby and Steve Ditko, created a series of titles where events in one book would have repercussions in another title and serialized stories would show characters' growth and change. Headline characters in one title would make cameo or guest appearances in other books. Eventually many of the leading heroes assembled into a team known as the Avengers. This was not the first time that Marvel's characters had interacted with one another. Namor the Submariner and the original Human Torch had been rivals when Marvel was Timely Comics' Marvel Vault. But it was the first time that the comic book publisher's characters seemed to share a world. The Marvel Universe was also notable for setting its central titles in New York City. By contrast, many DC heroes live in fictional cities. Care was taken to portray the city and the world as realistically as possible with the presence of superhumans affecting the common citizens in various ways. Over time, a few Marvel Comics writers lobbied Marvel editors to incorporate the idea of a multiverse resembling DC's parallel worlds. This plot device allows one to create several fictional universes which normally do not overlap. What happens on Earth in the main Marvel Universe would normally have no effect on what happens on a parallel Earth in another Marvel created universe. However, storywriters would have the creative ability to write stories in which people from one such universe would visit this alternative universe. In 1982, Marvel published the miniseries Contest of Champions, in which all of the major heroes in existence at the time were gathered together to deal with one threat. This was Marvel's first miniseries. Each issue contained biographical information on many major costumed characters. These biographies were a precursor to Marvel's series of reference material, the official handbook of the Marvel Universe, which followed shortly on the heels of Contest of Champions. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Concepts. The Marvel Universe is strongly based on the real world. Earth in the Marvel Universe has all the features of the real one, same countries, same personalities, politicians, movie stars, etc., same historical events such as World War II, and so on, however, it also contains many other fictional elements, countries such as Wakanda and Latveria, very small nations, and organizations like the espionage agency SHIELD and its enemy, HYDRA and AIM. In 2009 Marvel officially described its world's geography in a two-part miniseries, The Marvel Atlas. Most importantly, the Marvel Universe also incorporates examples of almost all major science fiction and fantasy concepts, with writers adding more continuously. Aliens, gods, magic, cosmic powers and extremely advanced human-developed technology all exist prominently in the Marvel Universe. A universe incorporating all these types of fantastic elements is fairly rare. Another example is the DC Universe. Monsters also play a more prominent role with East Asian origins of magical incantation, outlandish sorcery and manifesting principle in the Marvel Universe. One such case is Fin Fang Foom arising from the ashes of tantric magic. Thanks to these extra elements, Earth in the Marvel Universe is home to a large number of superheroes and supervillains, who have gained the powers by any of these means. Comparatively little time passes in the Marvel Universe compared to the real world, owing to the serial nature of storytelling, with the stories of certain issues picking up mere seconds after the conclusion of the previous one, while a whole month has passed by in real time. 
Marvel's major heroes were created in the 1960s, but the amount of time that has passed between then and now within the universe itself has, after a prolonged period of being identified as about 10 years in the mid to late 1990s, most recently been identified as 13 years. Consequently, the settings of some events which were contemporary when written have to be updated every few years in order to make sense in this floating timeline. Thus, the events of previous stories are considered to have happened within a certain number of years prior to the publishing date of the current issue. For example, Spider-Man's high school graduation was published in Amazing Spider-Man No. 28 September 1965, his college graduation in Amazing Spider-Man No. 185 October 1978, and his high school reunion in Marvel Knights, Spider-Man No. 7 December 2004. Because of the floating timeline, where stories refer to real-life historic events, these references are later ignored or rewritten to suit current sensibilities. For instance, the origin of Iron Man was changed in a 2004 storyline to refer to armed conflict in Afghanistan, whereas the original Iron Man stories had referred to the Vietnam War. Marvel Comics itself exists as a company within the Marvel Universe, and versions of people such as Stan Lee and Jack Kirby have appeared in some of the stories, whereas characters like Steve Rogers, Captain America's alter ego, have worked for Marvel. The Marvel of this reality publishes comics that adapt the actual adventures of the superheroes except for details not known to the public, like their secret identities, many of these are licensed with the permission of the heroes themselves, who customarily donate their share of profits to charity. Additionally, the DC Comics universe is also said to exist in the Marvel universe as one of the many alternative universes. The reverse may also be said with respect to the DC universe. This is one method of explaining the various crossover stories co-published by the two companies. Pop culture characters such as Dracula and Frankenstein actually exist in the Marvel Universe. This is usually justified as a second-hand account of events as told to credited authors Bram Stoker and Mary Shelley although the general public continues to believe them as fictional. Robert E. Howard's Conan the Barbarian, Red Sonja, Cull the Conqueror, and Solomon Kane also have real-life existences in the Marvel Universe. The Hyborian era of Conan and Kull is considered part of Earth 616 pre-recorded history. However, they rarely encounter modern Marvel superhero characters. This is most likely possible due to the uncertain legal status of Howard's works prior to 2006 when they became public domain. Other licensed works that have been incorporated into the Marvel Universe include Godzilla, 2001, A Space Odyssey, in the character of Machine Man, Rom, Space Knight, The Micronauts, and The Shogun Warriors. In most cases, such material is either restricted from use after the license expires or the characters redesigned or renamed to avoid infringement. Topic costume superheroes and supervillains within the fictional history of the Marvel Universe, the tradition of using costumed secret identities to fight or commit evil had long existed, but it came into prominence during the days of the American Wild West with heroes such as the Phantom Rider. During the 20th century, the tradition was reinvigorated by Captain America and the invaders in the 1940s, who fought for the allies of World War II. Marvel's most prominent heroes were created during the Silver Age of comic books, including Spider Man, Iron Man, Thor, The Hulk, Doctor Strange, Daredevil, Ant Man and the Wasp, Black Widow, Hawkeye, Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch, The Vision, Wonder Man, Hercules, Kazar, Groot, The Avengers, The X Men, The Fantastic Four, The Inhumans, Shield, Nick Fury, The How Howling Commandos, Black Panther, Marvel, Captain Marvel, Polaris, Falcon, The Black Knight, and The Silver Surfer. Other notable heroes from the Bronze and Modern Ages include Wolverine, Storm, Colossus, Nightcrawler, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, Misty Knight, Colleen Wing, White Tiger, Shang-Chi, Spider-Woman, Valkyrie, Ghost Rider, Hellstorm, Satana, Man-Thing, Blade, Morbius the Vampire, Howard the Duck, Spectrum, Moondragon, Drax the Destroyer, Star-Lord, Gamora, Rocket Raccoon, The Punisher, Moon Knight, Mockingbird, The Eternals, Nova, Adam Warlock, Power Pack, Psylocke, Scott Lang, Black Cat, Silver Sable, Kitty Pride, Emma Frost, She-Hulk, Cloak and Dagger, Elektra, The New Mutants, Rogue, Jubilee, and The New Warriors. 
Some of Marvel's more recent creations such as Deadpool, Gambit, Cable, Domino, Squirrel Girl, War Machine, The Thunderbolts, The Runaways, X-23, Shuri, The Dora Milaje, Daisy Johnson, The Winter Soldier, Maria Hill, The Modern Guardians of the Galaxy and Defenders, Miles Morales, Hope Van Dyne, Stature, Amadeus Cho, Ms. Marvel, Kate Bishop, Moon Girl, America Chavez, Robbie Reyes, Ironheart, and Spider-Gwen have become popular characters in their own right. Unlike the DC Universe, few of Marvel's 1940s characters have risen to prominence in modern publications, Captain America is one exception, and to a lesser extent, his contemporary, Namor the Submariner, primarily because both of these characters were reintroduced to readers and to the Marvel Universe during the 1960s, prominent teams of superheroes include the Avengers, the X-Men, the Fantastic Four, the Defenders, the Guardians of the Galaxy, the Midnight Suns, and the Thunderbolts. All these groups have varying lineups, the Avengers have included several of Marvel's major heroes as members at one time or another. The X-Men are a team of mutants led by Professor X and include many of Marvel's most popular characters, such as Wolverine. The Fantastic Four are viewed as Marvel's first family of superheroes, usually consisting of Mr. Fantastic, the Invisible Woman, the Human Torch, and the Thing. The Defenders were an ad hoc team usually brought together by Doctor Strange, which has included the Hulk, Namor the Submariner, and the Silver Surfer. The most recent incarnation of the team though consists of street-level heroes Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, and Iron Fist. The Guardians of the Galaxy include Marvel's cosmic characters such as Adam Warlock, Gamora, Drax the Destroyer, Groot, and Rocket Raccoon, but the team has also introduced other heroes into the roster such as Silver Surfer and Nova. The Midnight Suns consist on supernatural heroes such as Blade, Ghost Rider, Elsa Bloodstone, Hellstorm, Werewolf by Night, and the Man-Thing. The Thunderbolts are a group of reformed supervillains, anti-heroes working for the government, consisting of Deadpool, the Punisher, Red Hulk, the Winter Soldier, and the Ghost. Although teams of supervillains are few and far between, notable examples include the Masters of Evil, the Brotherhood of Mutants, the Sinister Six, the Frightful Four, the Black Order, the Annihilation Wave, the Star Force, and the Cabal. Topic. Origin of superhuman powers Most of the superhumans in Marvel's Earth owe their powers to the Celestials, cosmic entities who visited Earth millions of years ago and experimented on our prehistoric ancestors, a process they also carried out on several other planets. This resulted in the creation of two hidden races, the godlike Eternals and the genetically unstable Deviants, in addition to giving some humans an X factor in the genes, which sometimes activates naturally, resulting in sometimes superpowered, sometimes disfigured individuals called mutants. Others require other factors such as radiation for their powers to come forth. Depending on the genetic profile, individuals who are exposed to different chemicals or radiation will often suffer death or injury, while in others it will cause superhuman abilities to manifest. With the exception of psionic abilities, these powers are usually random, rarely do two people have exactly the same set of powers. It is not clear why the Celestials did this, although it is known that they continue to observe humanity's evolution. A Marvel series titled Earth X explored one possible reason for this, that superhumans are meant to protect a celestial embryo that grows inside the Earth against any planetary threats and have done so for eons. An X-Men villain known as Vargas claims to be a new direction in human evolution, as he is born with superpowers even though his genetic profile said he was an ordinary human being. The majority of the public is unaware of what may cause superhuman powers. Other possible origins for superhuman powers include magic, genetic manipulation and or bionic implants. Some heroes and villains have no powers at all but depend instead on hand-to-hand -hand combat training or advanced technological equipment. In the Marvel Universe, technology is considerably more advanced than in the real world. This is due to unique individuals of genius intelligence, such as Reed Richards Mr. Fantastic of the Fantastic Four. However, most of the really advanced devices such as powered armor and death rays are too expensive for the common citizen, and are usually in the hands of government organizations like SHIELD, or powerful criminal organizations like AIM. One major company producing these devices is Stark Industries, owned by Tony Stark Iron Man, but there are others. 
Advanced technology has also been given to humans by hidden races, aliens, or time travelers like Kang the Conqueror, who is known to have influenced the robotics industry in the past. In superhumans, the energy required for the superpowers either comes from within using their own body as a source, or if the demand of energy exceeds what their body is capable to deliver, comes from another source. In most cases, this other source seems to be what is called the Universal Psionic Field, UPF, which they are able to tap into. Sometimes they are connected to another source, and more rarely they are even a host for it. Marvel tries to explain most superpowers and their sources scientifically, usually through the use of fictional science like concepts, such as the battery effect. The cells in the body have the same function as batteries, being charged with energy that comes from an outer source. This is most often seen in gamma exposed individuals such as the Hulk, who get their powers from this stored energy. The powers will remain as long as the energy is present, and can even be increased by filling the batteries even more. If the energy is emptied, the powers will fade away. The power primordial is a leftover force from Big Bang and is controlled by the elders of the universe. The Phoenix Force is a force of incredible power. It channels energy from life itself and has been shown to favor mutant telepaths like Jean Grey. Psionic energy, which is assumed to be an invisible, unknown form of energy generated by all living brains that has the ability to manipulate other forms of matter and energy. Universal psionic field is a force present everywhere in the universe, but only those with abilities to connect to it can make use of its energy. Enigma force is suspected to be connected to the microverse, and is also the source to the uni power, which transforms an individual into Captain Universe. Extradimensional space, dimensions that can be tapped in order to pull mass from them, to add to objects on Earth, or taken away from those objects and be stored in those pocket dimensions, to be retrieved later. This is how characters like the Hulk can grow and shrink with no visible absorption of mass. A type of subatomic particles called pim particles can be used for these effects. Note that many giant-sized characters have a limited ability to manipulate gravity to handle their increased weight. The change in mass can be in the form of a density change instead, allowing a character to become harder or incorporeal. Some characters can seem to transform themselves or others into unliving substances, or even pure energy, by storing their bodies in extra-dimensional space and replacing them with bodies made from matter or energy from that dimension, while their souls remain on Earth, controlling their new body. Travel into other dimensions can also be used as a way to teleport by re-entering the Earth dimension at a different point from the exiting one. The Dark Force is an unknown, dark substance from another dimension known simply as the Dark Force dimension that can be summoned and manipulated in many ways, to create impenetrable darkness, to solidify it in various forms, and, most notably, to absorb the life energy from living beings. Not all users can use all these effects. The Dark Force can also be used to travel to and from its home dimension, but this is dangerous to all except those with Dark Force powers. Some believe that the Dark Force is sentient and sometimes has an evil influence on those who use it. Various heroes and villains have versions of Dark Force powers, including Darkstar, the first Blackout, the Shroud, Cloak, Dorman and Quagmire of the Squadron Supreme Universe. Cloak seems to be the prime portal to the Dark Force, however. The living light is the opposite of the dark force, a form of energy that resembles light and also comes from its own dimension, but has healing effects on living beings except ones made of darkness or dark force. It is unknown if it might be sentient. Cloak's partner, Dagger seems to be the living light's main avatar. The power cosmic is a force that can alter reality, allowing the user to do whatever he or she wants including bending the laws of physics, only being limited by how much cosmic energy the character can tap at a time. It seems to be part of the universe itself, and is most prominently used by Galactus and his heralds. Magic also appears to be like a form of energy, except that it can defy the laws of physics naturally, and usually overrules ordinary science. However, it does have rules of its own to follow, which vary with the method of invocation, usually in the form of spoken spells. It appears to be present in everything, even living beings. All humans in the Marvel Universe have the ability to use magic, but only if properly trained. Most people are unaware that magic actually works. In addition, powerful magical beings from other dimensions have created specific, extremely powerful magical spells that they allow to be used often indiscriminately by those sorcerers who invoke their names. One example is the trinity of beings called the Vishanti, who serve as patrons to heroic sorcerers. 
At any given time, there is a sorcerer on Earth whose task is to protect the universe against extra-dimensional mystical invaders, this sorcerer is known as the Sorcerer Supreme, an office left empty since the death of Brother Voodoo, but most recently has been reinstated to Doctor Strange. Stars in the Marvel Universe are actually sentient beings, and the source of all mystic energy. Pym particles are what make Ant-Man shrink. Topic. Non-human A degree of paranoid fear against mutants exists due to stories of mutants being a race or even a species Homo superior or Homo sapiens superior that is evolving and is meant to replace normal humans. This has caused organizations to form to deal with the problem, who can be divided into three camps, those who seek peaceful coexistence between mutants and normal humans, the X-Men and their affiliated groups, those who seek to control or eliminate humans to give mutants safety or dominance, Magneto and his followers, as well as other mutants such as Apocalypse, and those who seek to regulate or eliminate mutants in favor of humans. The latter often use the robots known as Sentinels as weapons. Certain species are regarded as subhuman, like the Morlocks who lurk beneath New York City and have been discriminated against by the outside world because of their mutant deformities. The Morlocks have recently joined the terrorist organization Gene Nation. In addition to mutants, Eternals and Deviants, several other intelligent races have existed secretly on Earth. These include, the Inhumans, another genetically unstable race like the Deviants, but in their case it is due to the use of a substance called the Terrigan Mists. That was created by a Cree experiment long ago, the Subterraneans, a race of humanoids adapted to living below the surface, created by the Deviants, some Subterraneans were transformed into lava men by a demon, and Homo mermanus, a humanoid race of water breathers that lives in Earth's oceans. Most of these races have advanced technology but existed hidden from humanity until recent times. More variants of humanity can be found in the Savage Land. See places below. Most of the Savage Land races have their origin from a group of primitive ape men who seems to have escaped the celestial experiments whose influence is present in all modern Homo sapiens. Other leftovers from the era where primitive humanoids walked the earth still exist, such as the altered Neanderthal known as Missing Link, an old enemy of the Hulk. Topic: <laughs> Alien races. The Marvel Universe also contains hundreds of intelligent alien races. Earth has interacted with many of them because a major hyperspace warp happens to exist in the solar system. The three major space empires are the Kree, who rule the Kree galaxy, the Greater Magellanic Cloud, the Skrulls, who rule the Skrull galaxy, the Andromeda galaxy, the Shi'ar, who rule the Shi'ar galaxy, no known real world counterpart, but might possibly be the Triangulum galaxy, the three are often in direct or indirect conflict, which occasionally involve Earth people, in particular, the Kree and Skrulls are ancient enemies, and the Kree Skrull War has involved humans on several occasions. The Skrulls have also been known to be in a long and consistent war against the Majestanians, who live in a milky planet named Majestane. The war between the two had started after two Majestanians, Frank and Leslie Dean of the Pride had been kicked out for criminal activities, the two travelled to Earth, where Frank and Leslie stopped the war against Earth in exchange for giving the Skrulls the location of Majestane, which was hidden behind the corona of a white dwarf. The war had gone on for 16 years minimum, it ended abruptly after the Skrulls shot a barrage of missiles at Majestane, who retaliated. Another prominent alien race is the Watchers, immortal and wise beings who watch over the Marvel Universe and have taken a sacred vow not to intervene in events, though the Watcher assigned to Earth, Uatu, has violated this oath on several occasions. The Elders of the Universe are ancient aliens who have often had great impact on many worlds, for billions of years, acting alone or as a group. A power called Power Primordial is channeled through them. Many other races exist, and have formed an intergalactic council to have the say on matters that affect them all, such as interference from Earth humans in their affairs. Topic Supernatural creatures also abundant in the Marvel Universe are legendary creatures such as gods, demons and vampires. The gods of most polytheistic pantheons are actually powerful, immortal human-like races residing in other dimensions who visited Earth in ancient times, and became the basis of many legends. However, all of these gods share a common ancestry and connection to Earth due to Gia, the primeval elder goddess that infused her life essence into all living things on Earth. 
Jia is known by various names and appearances in other cultures and among the various pantheons, but she's the same being. As a result, she's a member of every polytheistic pantheon of gods worshipped by humans. Besides mythological gods, many deities made up by Marvel writers exist as well, such as the Dark Gods, enemies of the Asgardians. The Dark Gods are a race of gods that have been worshipped by extraterrestrial races. Well-known alien races like the Shi'ar and Skrulls also have beings they worship as gods, though little has been revealed about them. Many persons and beings have falsely pretended to be gods or demons during history. In particular, none of the ones claiming to be major figures from Judeo-Christian beliefs has turned out to be the real article, although a number of angels have appeared in recent years, as well as an apparent true rebellion and expulsion of angels from a higher realm known as paradise, proving that some form of heaven and hell do exist in this universe, seemingly like those in keeping with common real-world religious belief. Similarly, demons are evil magical beings who take affairs in the matters of the universe. Some of the most powerful are Blackheart, Mephisto, Nightmare, Satanish, and Zom. There are also powerful benevolent mystical entities such as the Vishanti, or amoral and malevolent entities who are not truly demonic in nature, such as Dormammu and the Octessence, or ones heavily drawing upon the mythologies of H.P. Lovecraft and Robert E. Howard. Some supernatural beings, entities and human characters created by Lovecraft and Howard, who were friends and influenced each other's work, have been adapted by Marvel and include Abdul Al-Husriyad, Conan the Barbarian Nyarlathotep and Set. Some deities or demonic beings that are original characters of Marvel have been heavily influenced by these mythologies, such as Shuma Gorath. Most of the current generation of gods have been revealed to be the descendants of the elder goddess Gia. The two most featured pantheons are the Asgardians of whom Thor is a member and the Olympians of whom Hercules is a member. The lords of the various pantheons sometimes gather in groups known as the Council of Godheads and Council of Skyfathers. The gods were forced to stop meddling with humanity at least openly a thousand years ago by the Celestials, and most people today believe them to be fictional. There are other pantheons that have been depicted in the Marvel Universe that are still actively worshipped in the real world including those worshipped by the Aboriginal inhabitants of Australia, the gods of Hinduism, the Shinto gods and the gods of Zoroastrianism. These deities are rarely depicted, however. One such appearance generated a good deal of controversy as the depiction involved a fight between Marvel's incarnation of Thor and the Hindu god Shiva, a battle which Shiva lost. As Shiva is one of the principal deities of Hindu religion, his defeat offended some followers of Hinduism. This battle was retconned later as having been the deity Indra, the Hindu god of thunder, who was posing as Shiva, that met defeat. In order to avoid offending believers of still active religions, Marvel features such deities as characters in the background or who make very brief cameo appearances. Marvel's depiction of vampires has been heavily influenced by various interpretations of popular media, such as Bram Stoker's Dracula. As with many other supernatural creatures, Marvel entwined the origin of vampires with aspects of the mythologies created by Lovecraft and Howard. They were originally created by magical rites performed by priests of Atlantis prior to the Great Cataclysm that destroyed much of the world with Varnai becoming the first vampire. Marvel would depict vampires as frequent antagonists during the Hyborian Age to Howard characters such as Cull and Conan. In recent years, Marvel's depiction of vampires has altered greatly by creating various subspecies of vampires that exist in clans that greatly differ in appearance and belief. All vampires are depicted with varying degrees of superhuman strength, speed, stamina, agility, reflexes and accelerated healing. Many are capable of transforming into animals such as bats or wolves, some can transform into a mist-like substance, some of the most powerful are capable of controlling the weather to a somewhat limited degree. All vampires must ingest blood in order to maintain their survival and physical vitality. So long as they do so regularly, they cease to age and are immune to diseases. They retain the well-known vulnerabilities common to vampires in other media interpretations including sunlight, garlic, religious icons and weapons made of silver. Vampires can be killed by a wooden stake driven through the heart, though they return to life if the stake is removed. Vampires are highly allergic to silver and can be killed with it. While they normally heal rapidly, injuries inflicted by silver weapons heal at a much slower rate if the injuries aren't fatal. Vampires can also be killed by decapitation or being set on fire, with burning them to ashes and then scattering the ashes being the most effective means of ensuring their demise. Topic. Cosmic entities 
The cosmic entities are beings of unbelievably great levels of power, the weakest of whom can destroy planets, who exist to perform duties that maintain the existence of the universe. Most do not care at all about lesser beings, such as humans, and as a consequence their acts are recurrently dangerous to mortals. When dire threats threaten the universe it is not uncommon for these beings to gather together to discuss the threat, and even act. Most conceptual entities are simply interested in furthering their own essential function, or to keep the balance with an opposing force. However, certain cosmic entities, such as Galactus, in Betweener, Maelstrom, or the Stranger have demonstrated personality, motivations, or except for the first mention, even ambitions beyond their functions, but often maintain the perspective that morality is entirely relative, or that destroying civilizations of lesser beings is no more evil than if these beings destroyed an anthill. Others such as Uatu the Watcher, Eon, or the Celestials Ashima and Tiamat are aberrations in the sense of sympathizing with and occasionally coming to the defense of humanity. The fulcrum is a comparatively recent addition to the hierarchy, that all cosmic entities allegedly serve, of a level of raw power stated to far surpass the might of the Watchers and the Celestials. Unlike most other entities it is capable of conscience, compassion, and even a sense of humor, and has stated that it wants other cosmic beings to develop such as well. He is a possible manifestation, avatar of the one above all, the Phoenix Force first received personification in Jean Grey. The Force is composed of the psionic energy from all living beings, past, present and future, and is an embodiment of rebirth and destructive transformation through burning away what doesn't work and help to restart the universe before the Big Bang. Topic. Cosmology The Marvel Universe is part of a multiverse, with various universes coexisting simultaneously usually without affecting each other directly. According to Reed Richards, the ultimate fate of the multiverse is to perish in an all-encompassing heat death. Topic. Universes, Earths, Continuities The action of most Marvel Comics titles takes place in a continuity known as Earth 616. This continuity exists in a multiverse alongside trillions of alternative continuities. Alternative continuities in the Marvel Multiverse are generally defined in terms of their differences from Earth 616. Continuities besides Earth 616 include the following for a complete listing see multiverse Age of Apocalypse an alternate reality ruled by the mutant god Apocalypse Alterniverse the reality for some what-if stories Amalgam Universe a reality combining the Marvel and DC universes Days of Future Past another dystopian reality where Sentinels rule North America and enslave mutants Earth X an alternate future for the Marvel Universe depicting an Earth mutated by the Terrigen Mist. The reality was followed by two other series Universe X and Paradise X designated Earth 9997. Earth 92131 The Universe of X-Men, the animated series, Spider-Man, the animated series, Fantastic Four, Iron Man, and The Incredible Hulk. Earth 200111 The reality of the Punisher Max, Born, and its sequel Punisher, The Platoon, Wolverine Max, Fool Killer Max, Fury, and Fury, My War Gone By. A world without traditional superheroes and a gritty, realistic, violent universe. Earth 30847 The reality of the Marvel vs. Capcom games. House of M A reality dominated by mutants. Larval Universe The home reality of Peter Porker aka Spider Ham a reality where animal-themed versions of Marvel superheroes exist. Marvel Noir A reality home to noir versions of superheroes. Marvel 2099 A reality showing a possible future for the Marvel Universe in the year 2099. Marvel 1602 A reality where Marvel superheroes emerged in the early 1600s. This reality became Earth 311. Marvel Age and All Ages imprint Marvel Mangaverse a reality home to manga versions of Marvel characters. Marvel Apes a reality where apes are the dominant species and the superheroes are apes themselves. Marvel Cinematic Universe a shared cinematic universe by Marvel Studios consisting of the Avengers, the Guardians of the Galaxy, and the Eternals, as well as Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, Black Panther, Captain Marvel and many other characters. 
It is designated as Earth-199999 between the Marvel Comics continuity. Earth-12041, an animated version of the Marvel Universe on Disney XD. The shows part of this universe include Ultimate Spider-Man, Avengers Assemble, Guardians of the Galaxy, and Hulk and the Agents of SMASH. Marvel Zombies a reality where all the Marvel superheroes were turned into zombies. Designated as Earth-2149. MC2 another alternate future for the world of the Marvel Universe and its heroes and villains. The designation of this Earth is Earth-982. New Universe an alternate reality where a major catastrophe known as White Event caused numerous people to develop superpowers in a world where there are no hidden races, gods, magic, and super technology. The home reality of Star Brand Old Man Logan, a dystopian alternate future where the supervillains killed all the superheroes and took over the United States and presumably the world, dividing it among themselves. The home reality of the titular Old Man Logan, an alternate version of Wolverine and designated as Earth 807128. Ruins a reality where everything that can go wrong will go wrong. Where the experiments and other incidents that granted the superheroes their powers instead resulted in horrific consequences and deaths. Shadowline a horror imprint separate from the mainstream Marvel continuity. Earth 712 the home of the Squadron Supreme a super team from another universe and pastiches of DC Comics Justice League. Ultimate Marvel a modern day reimagining of Spider-Man, the Ultimates, the X-Men, the Fantastic Four, S.H.I.E.L.D. as well as other Marvel heroes and villains in a new setting. The home reality of Miles Morales, the Maker aka Reed Richards, and Jimmy Hudson. Ultimate Marvel is also known by its designation Earth-1610. Earth-65 a reality where Gwen Stacy was bitten by the radioactive spider instead of Peter Parker who became the lizard in this universe and died where Gwen became a superhero it also includes variations of other Marvel characters such as a gender-bent version of Sam Wilson known as Samantha Wilson and became Captain America instead of Steve Rogers. Ultraverse the home of the super team known as Ultraforce and superhumans known as Ultras. X-Men Adventures, originally based on the X-Men animated series, this universe went on to feature more original stories, and in its final issue, revealed itself to be the universe which existed prior to the current 616 reality, when it was destroyed by the fracturing of the Macran Crystal. The current edition of the official handbook of the Marvel Universe corroborates this. Earth 96283 An alternate reality in which Spider-Man is the only superhero on Earth. Sam Raimi's Spider-Man trilogy created and takes place here. In addition, multiple continuities are visited in the comic book series What If, What The, formerly not Brand Eck, and Exiles. The concept of a continuity is not the same as dimension or universe. For example, characters like Mephisto and Dormammu hail from alternative dimensions and Galactus from another universe, but they all nevertheless belong to the Earth-616 continuity, where all the dimensions and universes seems to be connected to the same main timeline. A continuity should also not be confused with an imprint, for example, while the titles of some imprints, such as Ultimate Marvel, take place in a different continuity, some or all publications in other imprints, such as Epic Comics, Marvel Max, and Marvel UK, take place within the Earth-616 continuity. Topic. Dimensions Within and sometimes between continuities, there exist a variety of dimensions, sometimes called pocket dimensions which typically are not depicted as separate continuities, but rather part of one, typically Earth 616. There are a score of such dimensions, ranging from the Earth-like to the totally alien. Some are magical in nature and others are scientific, some are inhabited and others are not. These include realities like the Microverse, the Dark Force Dimension, Limbo, the Mojoverse, and many more. The astral plane is a dimensional plane which is the source of telekinesis and various other psychic powers. It is a dimension created by the elder goddess Oshtar that is sometimes referred to as the Temple of Oshtar, or the Realm of the Mind. Despite various contradictions, the term, dimension is sometimes interchangeable with universe or reality. 
Every reality of the Marvel Universe has numerous interconnected dimensions, with each dimension differing from those of other realities, for example, the ultimate Asgard has clearly been shown to be distinct from the Asgard known to Earth's 616 characters. Such dimensions, such as Asgard or the Dark Dimension are technically not pocket dimensions, as they clearly reside completely outside the boundaries of the Marvel Universe, instead of within, as the former does. Topic. Time One cannot normally alter the Marvel Universe's history, if a time traveler should cause an alteration to the established flow of events at some point in the past, a divergent universe will simply branch out from the existing timeline, and the time traveler will still return to his or her unaltered original universe. Those realities can also spawn realities of their own. There exists hundreds, probably thousands of such realities. It is unknown why this happens, though a warp known as the nexus of all realities exists in a swamp in the Florida of Earth 616. For the most part this does not matter, as most beings are unaware that this occurs, or even that the universes were recently born from another. However, individuals and organizations exist that try to monitor or manipulate the various realities. These include Immortus, the Captain Britain Corps, the Time Variance Authority, the Timebreakers, Exiles, and Kang the Conqueror's forces. It has been shown to be possible to travel through time without creating a new alternative universe, instead altering events in the future, but this seems to have devastating and very far-reaching repercussions, as depicted in Marvel 1602 it almost destroyed the whole multiverse, including the afterlife. Also, time itself passes much differently within the confines of the Marvel Universe than it does in the real world. Despite various characters having appeared within company publications for decades, few if any have aged to any appreciable degree. For example, the patriotic hero Captain America was created in 1941 but stopped appearing in titles soon after the end of World War II. The character was revived more than 20 years later, explained as having been frozen in a block of ice though believed to be dead, to lead Marvel's latest team of superheroes the Avengers. This first Avengers team featured several characters that would go on to be some of the company's most famous and most popular. Although the characters would be portrayed in hundreds and even thousands of adventures over the decades, they have been portrayed as having aged little or none at all. Naturally this tendency is purely due to story conveniences or a somewhat haphazardly shifting patchwork pattern of authors, and mainly that the fictional continuity has been maintained and expanded far beyond what Stan Lee and others originally planned or hoped for. Hence, the passing of time was more discernible in the very early years, such as the graduation of Spider-Man, and what started as children or teenage characters, such as Kitty Pride, Franklin Richards, Valeria Richards, Power Pack, or the New Mutants are all allowed to age at wildly shifting rates, in the second case even backwards at times, whereas surrounding characters somewhat dependent on a certain age limit do not change at all. This recurrently creates inherently contradictory effects, as events are routinely described to have happened several years ago, even in cases when this would mean that some of the involved characters would have been toddlers. Different approaches also exist regarding allowing second generation descendants of heroes or villains, fully grown over 18 years after an event for example Hulkling, other members of the Young Avengers, Runaways, and Secret Warriors, whereas other books, such as Young Allies use the inherent contradiction to debunk similar claims. If a past storyline wherein a direct depictions of a then-current president or similar is referred to in a later era, it tends to become updated accordingly, sometimes with an in-joke acknowledgement. A more recent explanation was given by Galactus to the Ultimates, namely that some important events, for instance, the creation of the Fantastic Four or the Avengers, have a gravity all their own and warp time around them, causing the timeline to subtly change to accommodate this. Topic. Space While the Marvel Universe is presumably as large as the non-fictional universe comic book readers inhabit, for all intents and purposes the local group is the universe, practically all action takes place in it. The Skrull Empire is located in the Andromeda Galaxy, the Kree Empire in the Magellan Clouds which are satellites of the Milky Way Galaxy in which Earth of course is found, while the Shi'ar Empire is located somewhere between them in one of the smaller galaxies, perhaps Triangulum. Frequently, these three empires are quoted as the main political powers in the universe. 
Similarly, the local group seemed to be the only affected area when the annihilation wave cut its bloody swath across the universe. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Role-playing games. Four role-playing games have been set in the Marvel Universe. Marvel Super Heroes TSR 1984. Marvel Super Heroes Adventure Game TSR 1998. Marvel Universe Role Playing Game Marvel Comics 2003. Marvel Heroic Role Playing Margaret Weiss Productions 2012. Topic See also For more complete lists of inhabitants of the Marvel Universe, see List of Marvel Comics characters, List of Marvel Comics teams and organizations, and List of Marvel Comics alien races. Features of the Marvel Universe Publication history of Marvel Comics crossover events The official handbook of the Marvel Universe List of Marvel Comics superhero debuts Marvel Super Heroes role-playing game Marvel Cinematic Universe